I'm first generation. Uh, my parents are from Casas Grandes, Chihuahua. Uh, I was born here along with my, you know, nine brothers and sisters. There are 10 of us. Uh, I was brought up in a community called Simon's. Everybody spoke Spanish. Uh, the Grove Corner grocery store was my godmother's, and we all, you know, we were all part of a very small neighborhood. It was only a couple of streets. Well, I think is when you're confronted with the question of what are you going to do when you grow up, you know, you had an option of careers. So I thought that if I could help other people as a social worker uh, in whatever their needs were, I should train and become that person. Then once I started listening to all of the Chicanos and Chicanas that were talking about the discrimination that was going on, it made me so angry as they were. Uh, and then when we started trying to take that energy and that anger and turn it into an action, uh, it was an unbelievable calling. Being elected to the California State Legislature way back in 1982 and being the first Latina Chicana to ever get to that position. Transportation is a really essential need to a community. And very frankly, when they're dishing up all the transportation dollars, we had to be very actively involved to make sure is the east side going to get something? And very frankly, we've usually been on, on the back end of that. We haven't been upfront and direct about those kinds of things. So as they divided up the pie, the east side received the gold line. But when they were looking to build a state prison, the governor and certainly the legislature, they probably looked at the weakest link. I represented the lowest registered district in the entire state, probably one of the poorest and more densely populated. They determined, why not put a prison in East LA? And we had to show the governor and the legislature that East LA could stand up politically like any other community in this state. And unless, there was some tremendous benefit, and it had no benefit whatsoever. We were not gonna take another prison in East LA. We already had five. Because it empowered our community, which is, I think, the biggest benefit of all, uh, we were able to overcome it. We ended up winning at the end of the day, and we created a whole new movement in our community that was different than before. I have been a part of, of, of a whole group of people who felt that there was very, very important to establish a facility, a museum, an educational institution that spoke to the true history of the origins of California and the contributions that we as Mexicanos and Mexican Americans have contributed to this great region. Plaza de Cultura de Artes is going to be telling uh, the history of our past and certainly engaging in the, in the contemporary issues of the day. It is also going to be about our future. It was Mexican in the beginnings, Mexican-American and American, and of course our future is very Latino as we look at our population. But very frankly, what are the contributions that everybody is making today? What will it look like tomorrow? And so Plaza Cultura de Arte isn't just about the past, but about the future.